Today, we're eating 100 years of McDonald's, 100 years of prison food, yes. and 100 years of airplane food. Be sure to watch until the end because you won't believe some of the food we're about to try and some exclusive food from the future that hasn't come out yet. Starting with airplane food. The first ever meal served on a plane was in 1921 and it included a cold ham and cheese sandwich, a hard boiled egg, fruit, and water. Also, a plane ticket in the 1920s cost only $5. It's time to taste it. How is it? How is it? Mm. Wow. It's good, but why is everything cold? Because this is before they served warm food since there was no working outlets on planes and no way to use a microwave. There were also no seatbelts back then, so if you hit turbulence, this is probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on to the 1940s where flight attendants were first introduced to make flying more comfortable. Here you go. A sky meal in the 1940s was a filet mignon, green beans, brownies, and sparkling cider. And I'm going to eat the filet mignon for you eat all of it. Not only was the service better, planes themselves became way more comfortable and you could even nap on them too. Oh, Sean, here comes the airplane. Uh. Mm. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> what do I have to do to join the Mao High Club? Just follow me to my cockpit. Ah! Sir, the flight's landed. Is everything okay? Ah! <laughs> In the 1960s, airline food got even fancier. And that's because flying was more and more common. A typical meal was lobster, poached salmon, fruit pie, salad, and red wine. I call the salmon. What? You need to eat the salad, not the salmon. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm, it's tasty. Well, you know what else is tasty? You guys. Because why can't boys like this go and be on my plane? <laughs> Sheesh. Fruit pie, lobster. Wow. You know, before this, flying was only for the rich. However, this did cause problems because the rich didn't like flying with the poor. This is literally the best airplane food I've ever had. We'll get ready for the 1980s because food quality significantly dropped. The average meal served was spaghetti, mixed veggies, a cookie, and coke. Mmm. Cookie is okay. This spaghetti is bad. Well, that's because the airlines cut costs and the food got a lot worse. This was also the decade that in flight entertainment became introduced. Did somebody say entertainment? Uh, Caleb, this is the entertainment we're talking about. Oh, ah. Uh, yeah, I was. Wait, don't stop. Are you wanting Kayla to continue stripping? Oh. Oh. Also, during this decade, at the end of every flight, you could visit the cockpit and meet the pilot. Hey, Thompson! So, uh, what made you want to become a pilot? To uh, overcome my fear. Of heights? No. Dine alone. Let's just move on to the next decade. In the 2000s, they served nothing but most people would bring their own food on board or they had to be okay with the snacks that the airline served which was pretzels hey hey you forgot our drinks oh thank god yeah can we get something to drink yeah coffee or tea coffee wrong it's tea what what the, the hell are you doing man ladies in my line baby i've been thinking a lot lately that can't let it go to waste right Oh, on. You know, during this decade, you weren't allowed to visit the cockpit anymore. Actually, the pilot requested to see you. Really? Yeah, he insisted. I feel honored! Thanks, Captain! This is so cool! Is this the joystick you use to fly the plane? Nah, but I'm gonna use my joystick to fly you! Mama? Yeah! <laughs> In the 2020s, planes became even more accessible to everyone thanks to ultra budget airlines, which then they serve you chicken pasta, salad, and bread. But we're not gonna eat that. We're gonna eat the meal you get when you buy a first class ticket, which would be golden flake steak, golden brownies, salad, pastries, and a cheesecake. <laughs> oh, here we go. You know what? Screw the fork. This is so delicate. Golden flake steak. You're eating gold? I feel like I'm about to poop out dollar bills after this. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Wow. Hey, I cannot get enough of this cheesecake. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. What the am I do though? Mm. Honestly, this is the best food I've ever had. Dude, you've had a lot of food. <laughs> and after trying all the meals airplanes have to offer, it was finally time to try 100 years of prison food. What's up, cutie? Alex, they got you too? We always said we were gonna finish each other's sentences when we were younger. <laughs> hey, and this looks good. Let's dig in. You guys got a visitor. Al Capone? What'd you get arrested for? Staying up too late. But that's not illegal. They said I was resisting arrest. <laughs> no, but seriously, first degree murder. You know, in the 1920s, they considered lobsters bugs of the sea and only fed them to prisoners. They fed us trash because they thought we were trash. Time to eat. Ah! You know what? I actually don't want to eat this. I don't. Nasty. That's it. If you're not going to eat the food, you're going to come with me. Wait, where are you taking us? To the 1940s. Where things in prison got a lot worse. So in the 1940s, an average prison meal was corned beef, chowder, salad, and milk. Eat up! It tastes like soft beef jerky. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Oh wait, it does taste a little bit like beef jerky. You guys are eating good! We're about to eat good! Yeah! yeah. This is my favorite so far. That's mine, though. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was bad. I, I'm so sorry you guys have to eat this every day. You know, that's almost as bad as prisoners were treated in the 1940s. Yeah. A lot of people at the time became prison guards just so they could beat the prisoners. Which is why sometimes we did this! <laughs> What's going on here? Our next prison meal is from the 1960s and it consisted of boiled chicken drumsticks with no seasoning, plain white rice, mashed potatoes, some juice, and overcooked vegetables. And before we dig in, we have Charles Manson here who's gonna eat this meal with us. Wait, what did you go to jail for? I'm a lady killer. Oh. No, like literally. <laughs> Shall we feast? You know what? If I'm eating chicken, it has to be fried. You sound like Alex. Wait, where is Alex? You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of me time. And now we're joined by Jeffrey Dahmer. Hey guys. In the 1990s, they served neutral loaf, canned fruits, beans, and toast. You want to try the fruit? I've never tried anything like this in my life. It tastes like a granola bar with meat inside. I eat this every day, but you're probably more tasty. Hey, I'm choking. I'm actually choking. Drink some of this fruit juice. I think I'm just gonna move on to the next decade. Uh, yeah, me too. Where am I? Relax. We're just gonna hang out, watch a movie, and take some pictures. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. oh. So now we're in 2024. Oh! Alan, are you okay? Yeah. Anyways, for modern day prison meals, inmates eat hamburgers, salad, water, and a baked potato. And we have an actual inmate who's gonna join us to eat our meal. Bach? I thought you'd be out of here by now. Prison is not so bad when you find your soulmate. Get over here, honey. Tanner? Is that you? You guys gotta get me the f out of here. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm Tanner's bitch. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm your bitch. Oh my gosh, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Daddy, sorry. You're so clearly forcing Tanner into this relationship. Tanner! Am I forcing you to do anything? Yes. See? Let's dig in. What are you waiting for? 
<laughs> Dang, this burger is hard. Oh my god, your teeth could fall out eating that. That's how hard you can get in prison, if you know what I mean. And what about for dessert? For dessert, we got honey bun. Well, you got to pay for the honey bun. With your honey bun. Looks like today, it's your honey bun. After barely escaping jail, it was finally time to move on to 100 years of McDonald's. Behind me is the world's oldest McDonald's that still serves the original menu from the 1950s. The first meal ever served in the 1950s was the original deluxe burger, shoestring french fries, and a classic vanilla shake. Can't wait to see how this tastes. I'm gonna try the hamburger. How was it? Wow. And this is actually how the menu looked at the time. And the burger only cost 25 cents and only 50 cents for the entire meal. But did you know that in the 1950s, Ronald McDonald wasn't the mascot. It was actually this guy, Speedy. They called it Speedy to symbolize how fast and efficient the food service was. It's finally time to try the milkshake. How was it? Dude, this is good. Well, let's see how the food looked like in the 1960s. Order for Ellen and Alex. This was also the decade when Ronald McDonald was introduced as the mascot. So in the 1960s they served Hula Burger, filet fish Big Mac, and Cherry Pie. That's a lot of food. By the way, this was also the year when the Big Mac was first introduced. Mm. Now we're going to try the Hula Burger and the filet fish It's just pineapples inside. Wait, what? There's no meat? Why the hell would they put just pineapple and sell that? Of course that would get discontinued. You guys going to finish that? Uh, no, you can actually have it. And the reason why we don't have our drinks yet is because Sonic was introduced in the 1960s and McDonald's had their workers also deliver their drinks and rollerblades to compete with Sonic. Oh, there's our drinks right now! I'll get you another drink right now. I'm so sorry. And that's why they stopped doing that. But now it's time to move on to the 1970s with Uber driver. Get in. I didn't order an Uber. We've got one now. I'm good, bro. Thanks. Oh my fucking god! Get the hell in! Or wait, wait, wait. Want to help me look for my dog? I need help looking for my dog. In the 1970s, the McPizza was first introduced. Mm -hmm. The chopped beef steak sandwich with fries fried in beef oil and the triple ripple ice cream. Oh, I never knew McDonald's served pizza. All of this was only a dollar and twenty-five cents, by the way. Oh no way! Mm. It got discontinued because the pizza took way too long to make and it didn't fit the fast food theme. Yeah, because I'd want my food now. But also during this decade, they introduced the first Happy Meal. All right, we're going to show you guys what's inside. The first toy that McDonald's introduced. Wait, is that Grimace from the Grimace Shake? Yes. Wait, why did it get discontinued? Because it would say inappropriate things like this. Did somebody order a pizza with extra sausage? Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Let me fill you up with my lunch. Right? Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Okay, okay, that was too much. Yeah. Let's see what was on the menu in the 1980s. In the 1980s, McDonald's introduced the McSpaghetti, McDLT, onion nuggets, and coffee all for the first time. What the heck is a McDLT? I think it's a burger you're supposed to put together yourself. Ooh. Ooh, a crunch. And all of this was only $2.50. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna try the mixed spaghetti. And I'm gonna try the onion bites. Mm. Oh my god, spaghetti from McDonald's? It's the best thing ever. Mine wasn't bad, but I just feel like these things shouldn't belong on a McDonald's menu. Yeah, I agree. But did you guys know that McDonald's actually has a toy that's permanently banned? It's a McDonald's brass knuckle. Oh, I know what to do with this. This is what I call a McBeat down. That big beatdown was an S tier. Ladies, there's plenty more where that came from. Ladies. In the 1990s, McDonald's introduced a seafood menu for the first time. The McLobster, McSoup, and the McLean lettuce wrap to reduce fat. Does it look like I go to McDonald's to eat healthy? Get down on my I'll just eat it. Okay. Ooh. Mm, this is good. Now it's time to try the McLobster. Ooh. Wait, is it healthy? Yeah, totally. Oh, get that out of my face then. Yeah. They discontinued to make lobster because it was actually too expensive. Wait, where's our drink? The McSoup. 
No, that's not. Shut up. Oh, Shut wait. Up. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> but it tastes like carrot soup. Ew. I'm not trying that. But let's go ahead and move on to the next decade. In the 2000s, McDonald's introduced supersized options for the first time. <laughs> you could supersize anything you ordered to make it extra, extra big, like these fries, this burger, and this Sprite. They also served wings for the first time as well. Oh, no way. Oh, this supersized burger looks McTasty. Whoa, you're already supersized. Unless you want to get McFatter. <laughs> you don't have much room to talk. <laughs> Mac Tanner. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the McWings. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> you like it? Good. It is good. They should bring this back. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna take this to go. Oh, right. okay. My never. I feel like we're missing something for the fries. Oh, super sized ketchup. That is the biggest bottle of ketchup I've ever seen. Oh, hey, <gasps> dude, you're missing the food. A little bit more. There's so much more at the bottom usually. Ooh. 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 Okay, let's move on to the next decade. In 2010s, the McRib became very popular, along with Fish McBites, McNuggets, and the McFlurry. What the? Fish McBite? Ugh! If I bite into a chicken nugget and there's fish in it, someone's about to catch these Mick hands. And that's a Mick promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. It's like biting into a chocolate chip cookie and there's raisins inside instead. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna try the McRib. All right. Mm. Oh my god. Dude, that's the best thing I've tasted ever. Really? Yeah. Let me have a bite. <laughs> Calm either. down. <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> yeah, we gotta stop doing these food videos. Let's move on to the next decade. And okay. now for the McDonald's meal from the future. Wait, where is it? It's being delivered right now. How? Look up. Whoa! What is that? It's a McDonald's delivery drum that they're gonna have in the future. No way! Oh, and in case you guys are wondering what happened to Tanner, this is him in the future. Yeah, I really let myself go. <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe what we have. Check it out. <laughs> good. None of these have even been released yet, but we have the shrimp burger, the teriyaki burger, the spicy McCrispy sandwich, the black Angus beef, and the grimace ice cream. <laughs> let's try the teriyaki burger first. Ooh, all I'm right. gonna look at that meat. Damn. All right, let's take a bite at the same time. Mm. Mm. I'm good. That's so good. Probably my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Now we're gonna try the spicy McCrispy sandwich. Ooh. Mm. There's some good chicken. Now let's try the black Angus beef. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. Wait, this is Wagyu beef. All right, now I'm gonna try the shrimp burger. Mm. And now we're gonna try the Grimace ice cream. Oh yes. Mm. That's good. What is it? What flavor is that? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Not only does it taste good, but it also tastes healthy. Now we have to decide which decade was our favorite. Definitely this one. Yeah, 100% this 100% this. Subscribe if this was your favorite meal, but comment down below if you liked a different decade. Turner. Turner, you with? No.